So in the last video, we looked at how we can capture input from URL parameters. Another way to do this is by getting the queries from the URL. So a query string starts with a question mark, and then it includes this field equals value entries that are separated by this ampersand and sign. So an example of this is when you're watching a YouTube video. So the query starts here with this question mark, and then this is the first um, item, so it's V equals and then the ID of the video. Then we have an and sign here. This is the second item, so we have list equals and then the list. And finally, we have another ampersand here, and then the third one is index equals and then the index, and then another one, and then here we have T equals zero seconds. So these are all part of this query string here. And these will get stored as an object in the request called query. So in the last video, we looked at getting a particular profile from this list by putting it into the URL like this. So now I'll show you how to do it with a query. So we can set up a get root again. And when we're doing the query, we just simply have to just put the root name that we want. We don't have to do any of this part here. Then I'll set up the middleware function, the request and response. And if I just do console.log uh, and then the, que the requests query like this and save that. Okay, so I'm going to start up the server now. And if I go to localhost 3000 slash uh, profile, and then I put in a query here, so I'll say question mark like this. And then I'll say, let's say name equals Alice like this. We can see that the, qu uh, the query object has this field called name with our Alice right here. So we can use this to extract the name. So if I stop that now. So what we can do instead is we can say let name equals request dot query dot name. So we'll just make sure that we have the, the um, key as name whenever we're doing the query. And then we can do the same thing that we did before. So if I copy and paste this here, and I'll explain that quickly. So if there's an entry with this name key in this people array, then return that otherwise return not found. So if I save that now and restart the server and I go to localhost 3000 and I put name equals Alice, we can see that Alice's details have been returned. If I change this to Bob, we can see Bob's details get returned. If I change it to Charlie, we can see Charlie's details. And then if I change it to something like Diana, which is not in the list, we can see that it returns not found. So this is essentially what we're going to be doing in this challenge. So what it wants us to do is um, build a root for get slash name, and then we'll have first name equals and last name equals, and we just want to return this in a JSON. Uh, we just want to return it like this. So we want a JSON object with this name, and then we want to put the names together. So let's do that. So go to myapp.js, and just scroll down to where it says uh, number 10, right here. So first thing we want to do is set up the get root. So we'll just say app.get. And then what they wanted was a slash name. So we'll just do slash name like this. And then create our middleware function. So it just takes in a request and a response. Okay, so uh, we're going to be specifying the first name and last name like this. So we're going to say first equals the first name and last equals the last name. So we can say let, let string. So the string is the string we want to return here, which is just the first name, then a space, and then the last name. So we can say let string equals, and then request.params, sorry, request.query.first plus, and then a space, and then plus and then request dot query dot last like this. So this will get the first name query, then put a space and then add the last name query to it and it'll create this string right here. Then we just want to do a JSON response. So we can call the JSON method on the response. And uh, instead of echo here, we're gonna have the name and we're gonna just put the string here. So hopefully what this should do now is 
when we put our root in, we'll put first name equals the first name, the last name equals a last name, and then it'll put these together into a string and then return it as a JSON with name and then the string. Um, I think that's what they wanted. Yeah, name and then first name space last name. So let's try that. So I'll save it and open it up. If I paste it into here, so we would say slash name, then put a question mark, and say first equals, I don't know, John, and then I'll put last equals, sorry, we need an ampersand here, and then put last equals Smith, like this. And we can see that John Smith has been returned. Now, if I change this John to like James, and if I change this to like Carter or something like this, we can see that that name gets returned instead. So yeah, that should be um, challenge 10 completed. So just copy the link and paste it in and try submitting it. And yeah, it's worked.